Hello everybody, welcome to another Scattered Groves video. It's been a while since I did this, but uh, let's jump into this. We have a Triple Cons. This is a, a fun format. Introduces some of these common lands here. Also a Villainous Wealth. And it has the Tricolor Enemy um, Guilds, I guess. So this is a really fun card. So I might take that. Um, it also has Outlast, which is kind of a sorcery speed trick stuff. The Warriors are fine, so Chief of the Edge is good. Savage Punch is fine. Um, so besides this, Hair, uh, Hair of the Wild is probably the best card here. I'm going to take Villainous Wealth and see what we can go from there. Alright, so what do we have here? We have a Sucker, whenever a creature you control with toughness 4 or greater dies, each opponent loses 2 life, but you gain 2 life. Second another creature, put a plus minus counter on it, so that's fine. It fits into our deck a little bit. Uh, here's a Morph, it's a generic Morph. Uh, crippling Chills, okay. Force Away. Turn to your hand. Uh, they can Loot, Naturalize, it's fine. Uh, throttle is probably decent. Despise is okay as well. I'm going to take Throttle here. Looking for more of a patrolish deck anyway. Uh, bring low. 3 damage to target creature. Plus, plus counter of it. 5 damage instead. It's a cancel. Uh, Bodyman of Spring is decent. If we're looking for that deck, this is fine. Uh, Assault High Flare. This might help us more as well. Gain life. Uh, it's in our colors. Embodiment, uh, we should get one or two of these around. And then this game, Keeper is fine too. I'm going to take this guy though. Ooh, this guy's decent. So it's a flyer that morphs, so I like that. Jungle Hollow is good as well. Bell Strike's okay. And Fibler 8 is really good as well. Or do <laughs> Fibler 8. Debilitating injury. I don't know why I call it different, but uh, this was a more of a thing in I think I'm 19 or in 20 or something like that. Those are commons, I think. So it's between this abomination or this injury. I'm going to go with injury right now. I think we can get these abominations and some lands later. Yeah, I haven't uh, didn't draft this set too much when it came out. I think I was moving or doing job stuff at the time the set was uh, these sets were big uh, I enjoyed them um, the first set the second and third set to go that weren't as fun if I remember correctly uh, more flight flank this guy's fine this guy's okay uh, it's a warrior card feeds okay so it's probably this guy that guy's way expensive I think it's monastery flock Kind of fits in the deck. Maybe, maybe not. I'll do this. I think it helps me stabilize more. It's four toughness for my flare. Kind of keeps me in two colors right now instead of three. So I'll do that. X plus and plus counters from one creature control. So not really good. Stubborn denial's fine. Whirlwind. That gets decent. Delve was a thing. Uh, Seeking Bell Strike, tap a creature, pay six to untap it. There's also a double fix banner for us, but the banners aren't as good for sacking. I'm thinking it's Bell Strike. I think I'm a plus one plus one counter deck. Stubborn Denial, not really a Stubborn Denial deck either. Water Whirl, it's really expensive though. I think this is Bell Strike. Uh, we Fate is decent. There's a big zombie elephant. Awaken the bear. That's not really what I want. I'm going to take We Fate here, maybe. I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, here. Generic Morph. I'll take a Disdainful Stroke. It's not the best in this format, but uh, I don't really need Robotic Mastodon. If bottom end of spring, that's pretty good. Wouldn't mind the other Highland guy, Highland game guy. Uh, creature gain, 
like just toughness. I'm gonna take the spies. I don't know if it'd be good or not, but double crippling chill. Here's another embodiment. I'll take that. And help me fix. Um, I'll take this banner. I don't know if I'll play it though. Yeah, I'll take this flyer. Probably won't play that either. No fixing so far, so that's the one problem besides these embodiments. But that just puts it green as our splash now, which isn't good with these guys. So, uh, yeah, I put this in a three draw if you notice because it's a morph. So you play it face down as a two two, and flip it up as a one four. Move these over. So if I gave you the land, put them there. First slot, that's where I like to put it. I think uh, NTGA puts them over here. I like them over here though. Kind of just a way of doing it, I guess. I also like to check other people I'm drafting with. No same many names. Nope. Sometimes the uh, uh, pros will play these older formats that they enjoy. Uh, I'll take Stumber Denial. I don't know if I'll play. I might put him in the sideboard. I don't really have any four power creatures necessarily right now. And uh, this guy's an iffy too. It's just a 2 2 flyer. I don't need splashing. 2 2 flyer for four is not the best value. Sacrifice it to two damage. Uh, morph, turn face up, return all other tap creatures on his hand. Yeah, I'm going to take that guy. It's pretty decent. I like this jungle hollow. It'd be nice to wheel. Uh, flock. Be okay. So I'm putting a three. It is a six drop that morphs for seven, but it's face down for three, so I'll put it in the three slot here. It's the land we don't want. Uh, never enter the battlefield. If you attack this turn, I put this card down. Yeah, that guy's fine. For 2 2. It just tapped, so I can't block well, but I'm not going to take this caves here. I don't need the caves. I don't need that guy. It's filler. Uh, it's expensive, and this Glacier Stalker is kind of filler as well. So, yep, I'll take this 2 drop. And you attack this turn. So I can attack these guys. I'm going to take this Blackwater Cliffs here. Need some fixing eventually. Uh, Binding spray is okay. Another pet. Nothing else for us, really. Uh, master of the way. Draw a card. Deals damage. Deal number of cards in your hand. Yeah. Another embodiment. Quiet completion. Yeah. Swift water cliffs. Another stalker here. Or another hunter. Um. This parapet's fine as well. So if I parapet wheel, so be fine with that. I'll take another hunter. Let me slow my opponent down. Pop off a villainous wealth. Uh, Salt Eye, that's the, this kind of deck. So right now the flare is kind of a splash. It was weird. So blue black splashing villainous wealth. It's not too bad. It's a late game card anyway. You want to get it for like five or six, is probably ideal. Sign of Glaciers, okay, so I might take that. Another Singing Bell Strike, another Embodiment, Parapet. I'm going to take this Sign of Glaciers, it seems pretty decent, good blocker. Control our Flare, though, this as well. I'm going to put him over here, I don't know if I'll play that Flare now. It's fine. Got to stabilize Fast X by getting life, because they're going to try to kill your creatures, and you have some big butts out there. Uh, this pet and this glaciers scion and himself another disdainful stroke I'm gonna go with this game hunter though oh actually I wanna go with this guy stays in color doesn't have to jump to a different color game hunter be fine this guy's a good early blocker can outlast him as well outlast is just to pay the outlast cost during your turn you tap it to put plus most counter on it so it's a very slow thing but can be good. So another throttle. Tokens your library. You may put a creature or land from them into your hand. 
Ranch or land. Eh. Kills your graveyard, though. Uh, Jeskai Ascendancy is a really good card if you're Jeskai. Teamer Charm is decent as well. Uh, it fights, counters, and the last one is not really that good. But Throttle is kind of slow, um, but that's fine. We have some early blockers. Um, I do like how the embodiments work with this uh, Hunter guy. Um, target opponent discards two cards, mill two cards. That's fine. Kind of goes with our plan there. Might just take this right of the serpent. It's not the best. It's very slow as well, but it's something at least. Uh, destroys a creature. Uh, plus one scarner. Create a green snake token. There's a win condition right there. Green snake tokens. So it's kind of fine for their early game stuff. Uh, I'm going to take this uh, flock here. It seems inconspicuous, but it's a good early attacker, and they can flip on defense if they try to kill it. It's pretty decent. I like that. Early attacker is a 2 2, I mean. Because he plays Morph. And the uh, Morph cost of 1 blue is pretty uh, reasonably cost as well, which I like. So the Baron does allow me to splash that, but I'm not going to do that. So Stubborn Denial, did it get any better? Not really. Um, I'm going to take this guy, I think, or anything else. I'm probably going to play it, but it's a good sideboard card. Take another pet. It's a good early blocker, I think. Um, I'll take this Mastodon, but I probably don't play it unless I need to. A 2 8, it's fine. I'm really short on playables. Let's see, Bell Strike. I'll take another one. Don't know if I'll play two, but I'll keep it in the board. Another Sandful Stroke. Not going to play two Sandful Strokes. They're not as good in this format because of the morphing. Because Morph Scout is three. Uh, plus one. Whenever your permanent control is turned face up, draw a card. It's fine for us. Uh, Bitter Revelation is good as well. I might take this land here. How many morphs do I have? Uh, one, two, three, four morphs. Doesn't do as much for me here. This land is decent. Bit of revelation would be fine too. So I'd take one of those, but I like fixing. I like to be able to cast my spells. Ooh, this guy. Turn face up, counter target spell. The spell is countered this way, exile instead. In order to graveyard and I cast a spell. So that's pretty cool. I'll take that. Um, again, Scion would be fine, but I don't really want to play green as the main color. Just right now, splashing bonus wealth. Definitely not splashing this guy. This <laughs> Nexus. Take extra turn. Doesn't do anything for us. It's a Tri Land. Uh, Mystic of the Hidden Way is pretty decent. I like that guy. Uh, another. Marauder be fine, but this guy becoming unblockable is really good. This guy's decent where it flips up. Uh, a flying prowess, decent. I'm gonna take this guy. It's a three drop that flips up for zero. I can look at opponent's hand. Death dealer over almost nothing. A savage punch. I think this death dealer. Don't know if I'll play it. Uh, it's a pretty decent card though. Requires more green and black though than blue. Don't have any fixing for green right now. So that's a iffy one. It's a good card though. Just need more green. So if I can get a couple of green duels, that would be nice. Green, blue, green, black. I think I saw some earlier, but I took other good cards over them. So still decent. Not the best late game. Uh, I guess it's fine because it can regenerate, but. Salt type banner, another mystic. Two of the spirit drag is not very good. I'm gonna take this banner. Don't this, banners aren't not the best, but I need the fixing. Naturalize. Take for the sideboard. Nothing else we'll play. The king's birth guy, the, the five three. Uh, I'm terrible with names. I don't remember what it's king something. Another salt type banner. Seek the horizons. 
Yeah, maybe I'll take Seek Their Horizons. That could be... Oh, uh, actually, no, that's a terrible card. I'm, I'm dumb. Splashing green is not good for Seek Their Horizons. Don't do that. For some reason, I was thinking I was main green, so that helped me fix, but it's the other way around. If you're, you can't use a card to fix for a color, that is your splash. Remember that. So, drop two cards off this. So, probably a Disdainful Stroke in one of these pets for right now. Uh, this guy, I think. Uh, no, 17 land. Hmm. I think I'll take another Ascendant here. Ancestor, sorry. Disowned Ancestor, Obura. Highland gain. Some early block. I can attack with zero power guys and I'll still trigger this, which is pretty nice. I don't think uh, we got any green fixing land, so run this with two forests maybe. So I can still crack the banner, play this, and play these guys. Maybe three forests playing these guys. Yeah, they're fine by themselves. Zero three can still block a morph based on morph creature. They can eventually ramp out other stuff. Um, bounce a creature or get two creatures back. This is dutiful return. I might play it. I might not. Teamer, ascendancy, a paste, draw cards. Uh, I think this is phantom. Yeah, it's phantom. So just you. Don't get anything out of it. You don't get to keep the cards. Ooh, might, that's a decent one. The milling is not something I need. I'm not, um, there we go. Uh, I think I'm from bottom end if I need to bring in more blockers for some reason. Yeah, I wish I had a couple green fixing cards besides this one salt type banner. But I did not get anything. So I got two Dizzle Backwaters. I should have more aggressively took a green fix thing, I think. But I wasn't really leading to too much green. Just blue, black, splash you on his wealth. Blue on wealth is a very powerful card. So I want to splash that. Along with the embodiments, they're fine. I might cut one of them. Uh, the cards to bring in. So I got the secrets. Dutiful return. Another pet. Strokes. Embodiments. So with two ancestors, I'm gonna take one bodyman out, maybe, and discards two cards. Creatures have twelve creatures, and mills two cards. So I get nothing off the milling. I don't want to play uh, the sandbar guy. Sandbar? Wetland Sandbar? That's kind of a weird name, Sandbar. So, I see there are one of these three cards. I think since I have so few creatures, I'm going to put this pet in. Um, go from there. And I want at least two forests. Uh, I'll have blue, maybe. Gives me three sources. So the embodiment is definitely not as good with only three sources here. But it's a fine early blocker. I can always side it out for something else. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in round one. Alright, welcome to round one. Uh, we are on the play. So yes, I'll be on the play. I have to pop out my graveyards. Look at my cards. Look at the cards. Look at the cards. This is not bad. It's kind of slow. I have a three drop into a four drop. Three land. Happy with that. F6 the turn. Kind of line everything up. Here. Okay. There we go. There's a green fixing right there. Villainous Wealth is almost online. I can Villainous Wealth for zero next turn if I want. Alright. I can play anything. Oh, second main phase. One of those guys, huh? Sure. Uh, do this. Has that guy face down? Uh, 
his first strike. It has plus plus counter on it. Or that. It's instant plus plus counter stuff. Ooh, that fetch lands in this format. I forgot about that. Alright, now I parried again. Gained one life and lost one life. It's attacking. Uh, okay, no blocks. Second main. What's he playing? Based on creature himself. Yep, morph. Will he block? He does not block. I'm just gonna play uh, this thing. Make him discard a card. Faster. I think it's five done morph this guy. Three done morph. Okay, that's pretty decent. Uh, next turn I'll have throttle up. Discards a land. So we didn't block this guy, so it's either more valuable. Just gonna five color deck. Doesn't have blue yet. Four color non blue. Alright, gets in there. It's a one three. That's not good for me. Let's see if I can get a free card off of him. Fortunately, I have one blue, so I can't play my embodiment. So it's a decent blocker for these guys if he doesn't pump it up. <laughs> so he hasn't flipped this guy yet. So I'm guessing it's a little bit more expensive. He's going to probably kill my master now. Um, what's this deal? Your non token creature control attacks, create a 1 1 goblin attacking. attacking. That's pretty good. Do you have a trick? Nope. Just wanted to throw it away. He doesn't have anything else in play, so I'm just going to throttle this guy now. I could play both of those as well. It's a 2 1 bird. It doesn't have a white card in hand then, that's what it means. It's a decent card. Creation control, plus 0, plus 3. Attack for 1. So I'm going to play both of these next turn. This guy, unfortunately. If I draw a blue, nope. Keep the attacks coming. He's also seen be a little mana screwed there. Play this guy, it's a good blocker. This guy is a good blocker. Okay. Go straight to attacks. Sure. He has a trick. He has a trick. We have a trick. What's your trick? Uh, sure. And I do plan on sacking this embodiment after blocking next turn. It's cost six to untap this guy. Oh, I found another land. Uh, he's first strike and death touch. That's pretty decent. Cool shanker. My draw is definitely not working out. 
this game. Need some early blocker stuff. Something about that guy too. And I'm probably dead next turn if I don't draw something. I can do it for three. Let's just draw two cards right now. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'm dead to a lot of things. It's weird us splashing this green stuff though, waking the bear. Okay. Let's see what he has. What do you have? What do you got? Another land. Attacking. Tap. Last card is. Creature control. Get plus one, plus zero. All right, I think I'm dead. It's pretty good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. And I'm dead. All right, noted, noted. So I kind of want naturalize in this deck. Need some early blockers as well. I think embodiment's good. That's not decent. Just naturalize the only thing I can bring it. Think I bring in here. We fate's very slow here. I'm gonna take out the right of the serpent, and that seems slow as well. All right, and he gave me the GGs already to start with. Uh, it's one of those guys. Game one, give you the GGs. Yes, I'll play first. Um, it's slow, but I will keep it. Got these ancestors I can pump up and block. The ankle shanker is going to be hard to beat though. Slow, methodical grind. The sound. The sound. Disowned ancestor. Just going to get my pumping while the pumping is good. Land next turn would be nice. Attacks each combat if able. Well, punished. Not the land I was looking for. Unfortunately. Oh, I can't cast it for that month. No, just pass face down then. Pass the turn. Still doesn't work well with the ankle shanker. As long as you take that out, it costs five mana. Mardu Ascendancy. Not play a land. Don't want to trade yet. I'd rather flip this guy. What combat trick? It's a lot to take out a one five. Two mana. Uh, if it makes you discard, probably just discard this thousand wins. Yep, discard thousand wins. Singing Bell Strike. Can't play that. Let's just pass the turn then. So, unfortunately, I got my two forests. All the cards. Damn, this guy got all the fixing. He made sure he got his fixing in. Yep, this guy's student. I'll take it. Block there, block there. Might as well attack them both, right? Hey, look at that. Um, I'm going to play this guy, I think. I wish I had this guy back now. I don't want to play Bell Strike right now. That's what I want. Just pass. So he's on his green yet. <laughs> Another tap land. Wow. Definitely spent his man on, or spent his picks on tap lands. I don't think he has anything because he didn't attack with the students. 
into my big butts. Yes, big butts for the win. This is nice. Do this. And then I'm going to outlast this guy. And pass the turn. All right, now we play the long game. Hopefully, hopefully the long game. Don't, don't get that ankle shanker. Oh, I have a throttle for the ankle shanker right now. So that's good at least. Got his green. So he's playing Mardu splash green. Long shot squad. Breach. Okay, sure. It's an odd one to splash for, but... Play this guy face down, and then I'm going to outlast another guy. And pass the turn. So he can spend his turn outlasting this guy. And then I can um, bell strike it. That'll really slow him down. Okay, that could be the flyer. I'm not too concerned about that. Outlasting his guy. So I'm just gonna do that. Bell strike it. Cost six to untap it. So it's a very, uh, very difficult to tap that. I can play this as a flyer, I think, instead of the two two. I think that might be better for me, just in case that guy is the flyer. Eventually, I'm going to start um, double outlasting. Okay, another land for him. Doesn't have anything for that guy. Naturalize is good, so I'm going to outlast. Uh, then pass. Just in case he does have something to naturalize. Let's go and untap this guy, maybe. Three, four, five, six. Yep, untap him. He is untapped. Outlast again. Sure. And I'll just flip this guy over. Land is decent here. So I'm, I can either play this Scion or Double Outlast. I'm going to Double Outlast, I think. I'm seeing a good life total. Yeah, he's just going to do his untap the guy. I am leading the Outlast War, though, with four counters on it. So I can attack if he wants. I'll take five. So this could be the flyer, but he hasn't unmorphed it yet. Just a land, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine land. That's pretty good. Another morph. I didn't see any of his morphs that are too crazy. He could have the, um, uh, that one morph that, um, Gains life, the life link morph. The dismal backwater. So I'll just outlast one of these guys and then play this guy. Pass the turn. Uh, so this gives me a chance to block with this guy if really once. I think he might have the pump thing, so I need might need to get up to nine. Entire turn just tapping and untapping that guy. Fine with me. Fine with me. Another land. But it's kind of a combo though. Pay eight mana, put a plus and plus gun on him. Attack with everybody, huh? Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, let's try that. Let's see what he has. What do you have? What do you have that will blow me out? You have a plus two, plus oh type thing. Uh, and hostilities. That's what he has. And hostilities. Okay. So he is just... Yeah, ending his hostilities now. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That was... Uh, I did not expect that in his deck. A Wrath. One card left. This is something I can kill. I have two-ish removal spells here. Nope, doesn't have anything. I'm just going to draw a card. And I guess I'll play this guy face down. So he must have just drawn that, because otherwise he wouldn't have had all the other creatures out, because he... I can get another land. Last card is, because I can hold this guy up for six mana. He doesn't have anything. He has something. What do you have? What do you have? Nope. I'm going to wait. Please wait till my turn to do it. Wait till my turn. Nope. Did not want to wait. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to play a land and pass then. There's no cards in hand. I can kill this morph in response if I really need to. I don't know how big it is. It's not something too big. This guy's a 3-3. Three, three. A 1-5? Sure. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I'm not too worried about a 1-5. Alright, I get some value. I'll take that. Then I can play it, right? Cast a card about paying some mana cost. Okay, awesome. It. And then I'm just gonna play this guy, even though I don't know value out of it. It's still attack next turn, make that token if I want. And I'll just throttle his Sage Eye Harrier. So the problem with picking all these nice lands is you end up with things like this. That's not a very playable card. It's a roll filler, roll filler, something like that. But otherwise, it's not very decent. I'm just gonna kill this now. Something good. Oh, there it is. See? I was worried about that guy. That guy's really good. That could be a reason to splash. Luckily, I got him, though. Let's tackle these two. If he wants to block a goblin, it's fine. It's a 26. It's a long, long, slow grind here. And I'm going to play my land. I'm not too worried about a uh, another Skull Hunter from him. Uh, it could be a thing, but I'm not too worried about that. I got his main naturalized target. Uh, Lethalia go. <laughs> Bring low. Um, hmm, I can save it. No. Hmm. I don't want to trade. Do I? Yeah, why not? Just slowly pecking away at him. I had my uh, thunderous winds. 
Yeah, that's fine. It's just a big creature. Now what does he have? Another morph. Well, he's drawing well off the top. He drew all his lands early. I did not draw on Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, pass the turn. Pass the turn. What could this be? He's going to show me. Not another four, three, four, 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 please. Something three toughness would be nice. Okay. That is doable. At least block it. Oh no, what does he have? Okay, that's fine. Let's kill this before he gets a chance to do anything. Turn off all yields. Attack. I can always sack this too to save two of my guys. Which I might do. Yeah, it's not the best trade, but well, it's not the best either. It's in my deck at least. He's not attacking with his 1 5. Top deck wars. I'm gonna stop my upkeep here, so I can sack my body of spring. Oh, that's a good one. Death touch and first strike. First strike and death touch. Okay. Now oh, that's a card to worry about. I have outs though. I have outs. So I block two. Yeah, block. Why not? Not doing much else. I can attack for two, but that's not going to do much. Another land out. Well. Villainous Wealth is definitely what it wants, so I can Villainous Wealth in the next turn for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. As long as it doesn't draw anything, make me discard. Draw a land next turn. Don't have anything. Don't have your discard guy. Okay, not discard guy, not discard guy. What do you have? What do you have? Okay. Oof. Him. For 10. I did it! Bonus wealth in for 10. Wow, did I get a bunch of lands? Uh, cast this guy. Cast this. Oh, I did it backwards, didn't I? Oops. Well, oh well. Oh, uh, non-token creature control. Yeah, I did that backwards. I didn't realize. I thought you could cast one at a time, but I guess not. Seven land out of him though. I just hit a pocket of land. Ten cards, seven or more land. Sure. That kills them both. Got some flyers, some more blockers. Oh, take this upkeep stop. Another land. I'm just gonna pass the turn here. The goal is to outlast his draws. See if I can deck him. Do something else. Well, I hit all his land, so now he just has nothing but gas. Yeah, and I don't have any gas. Power four greater. Okay. I 
that guy, three, four, okay. Can I draw something else that's not a land next turn as well? I hit so many lands this game. Alright, as long as it doesn't have anything to kill me uh, this turn, I should be fine. There's two cards left to kill me. Can he do it? It won't do it. There's one more card. What else do you have? Mardu Ascendancy. Okay. We hit two Mardu Ascendancies? Jesus. Oh, excuse my language. I apologize. Oh, my guy disappeared. Kill his guy at least. Whew. Two Mardu Ascendancies. Wow. Is it going to GG me again? Nope. All right, noted, 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 noted. Two Mardu Ascendancies. Uh, Disable Shrug doesn't do anything against that. Stepping around does nothing. Macedon discards two cards and mill two cards. I'm not a big fan of that. Teamer does nothing for me. It lives through that thing. So Naturalize is good against him. Spies might still be fine. Let me take the spies out. Put this guy in, maybe. We have the second thing, Bell Striker. Put oh, they're both in. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's try that again. It's not villainous wealth for seven land. <laughs> wow, seven land. Impressive. That is impressive. 10, X equals 10, villainous wealth, hit 7 land. 7 land. Well, here's this fancy hand I was talking about before. I can make him discard by attacking for 0. Yeah, he got a lot of good fixing. And 3 ascendancies that are decent. He missed land drop? No, he's just one of the second main phase guys. It's really weird that, that people do that. I always worry about passing through. He has the warrior guys as well. So he drafted warrior, ascendancy. <laughs> Very odd. Do you like that combo? I'll probably just play this master. Uh, hidden away next turn. Oh yeah, does uh, the warrior thing get plus one? Wow, well, that's really good for him. That is good. Oh, there's my naturalize that I can't play yet. Play this guy. Hope he doesn't have anything. Pass the turn. Okay. Does he have something? I'm just gonna block like this. It's a free block. Doesn't do anything. You have damage? One damage stuff? No. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna outlast this guy. I think. Could give him another token, but if I can ever get to this guy, I'm just worried about the wrath. He doesn't have a second white yet. Another Mardo since he had the second one. Ankle. Oof. That guy's really bad for me. I'm going to lose the little ankle shanker guy. I need something to take him out. I'll put 
this. I don't know if that'll help at all. You just untap it, tack again. Yeah. It doesn't have a land. Oh, there's a land. Just doing this like an F6. Just tax again. It's a block, unfortunately. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think I'm dead, unfortunately. Unless I have something else to take out this stupid ankle shanker. Alright. Oh, I lost to the ankle shanker and Argos Indice. Alright, see you guys in the next round. Alright, welcome back to round two. To losing to a double. Mardu Ascendancy, Ankle Shanker deck. Let's see if we can come back and do something better. I'm going to keep this on the same reason I did for the beginning of the last game. It might work for me. So I'll start with this guy. I can play uh, this thing next turn. This blocker. So let's do the old tricky attack. I'm going to take two on the swing back, but that's okay. These trick stars. Got it. Up one card. And it's planes. Outlast or attack? Outlast or attack? Well, he's got a three drop, so it's going to attack. Oh, well, that's a really good card for him. I like that card. Now well, let's see what else you have. Flyer. And this core guy um, doesn't have any green yet. I'm gonna take this flyer. Just keep in mind, if he ever gets green, though, I might be in trouble. Uh, I'm gonna play this guy. It's not the best use of mana, but it's better than nothing. Still block everything. And yeah, he's gonna outlast now. Place planes. Ooh, okay, so it's planes in hand. Does not attack. Um, put this guy face down. If you outlast this guy, I gotta start outlasting this guy to keep up. Or I can just play this flock. This guy, I forgot this guy is pretty good. They redid this guy in um, it's called Sediment Humans, right? This guy just makes warriors. Because warriors were a thing in the set. Oh, he drew his green, that's right. Play planes too. Yeah, this is bad for me because all these guys have first strike now. Uh, I should probably just scoop it up here. I'm a very salty player. on that guy. Alright, no blocks. Put it on that guy. Alright, continue with the no blocks. No attacks, no blocks. Let's see if we can draw land. On land. It happens to me a lot of not drawing land when I need it, and I draw too much land when I don't, like most players. That's fine though. Sometimes you just don't draw land, right? Uh, I guess I'll play this guy face down. Better than nothing. I'd like to start outlasting that guy, but I can't afford it. Start playing stuff. Okay, I'm gonna scoop to that then. Wow. Again, a terrible draw. A little plan of uh, 
attacking and making skull hunters do not seem to be working out as well. I feel like I don't have enough land in my deck, but I have enough land. Very expensive. So just add another land. Alright, let's go 41. I do this all the time. When I, I get mana screwed, I like to add just one more land. I, I don't know if it helps at all. It makes me feel better. That's probably a bad play. Just don't do this in real life unless you uh, feel you need it. Very expensive deck, though. A lot of high-end stuff. So 18, but I don't want really to cut anything. I guess I can cut this embodiment, but I like the ramping a little bit. If it ever works out for me. <laughs> ever. Okay, I'll keep that. This is decent. I actually have a removal spell. I have a removal spell. They do exist in my deck. I have a few. It's a good thing I took that one early at that one time. I have a draw two. That's always good as well. I have a three drop. I might play it on four though. I'm just gonna. Yeah, if he wants to use a removal spell on that guy, it's fine. do this. Get my ramp on. Get my kill on. Oh, that's a good guy too. That's a good one to kill. Wow. That is a good one to kill. 4-4 four, four, life linker. Yeah. Abzan. A lot of people. Abzan was really good in this set if I recall. So I'm going to attack. If he wants to try to kill it, I'm fine with that. And I'm just going to play this guy out. Big butts, big butts. Land. Okay. I'm just going to morph this guy now. Use my mana wisely. Now attack with this guy. Three. Don't want to pump if I don't have to. I want to play this guy face down and then draw two, ideally. Okay. Does he have the plus one, plus one counter thing? Nope. Just guy's student. It's a fine little blocker. You have to be pretty aggressive to make it work. Awesome. Uh, I'm actually going to unmorph this guy first, so I can get some attacks in. I feel he has something here. He just just played just guy students. And I'll play uh, We Fates main phase. I play this guy. Deep in the tank about the Sown Ancestry. You just want to kill this Mystic now? Okay. Did not want to. And I'll play the pet. Okay. Big butts all around. Big butts, and then this unblockable attacker. He's in a wall. He's in a wall! Uh, first strike? Sure. This do too much, so I don't think he has anything besides the feet thing. I'm gonna pump this guy, attack with this guy. Sorry about the little uh, break there. Wife was asking me if I wanted food. I'm just going to pass here. What's he got? Can you handle the big butts? Control. Lifelink. Well, that's pretty good. 
not gonna lie. Battle rush. Bunch of big life linkers coming through. Oh. Yeah. So I'll just block here. Take 10. Serve a flyer, so I'll block with this guy, I think. Just in case he has the plus one, plus one thing. He's thinking about it. The plus one, plus one. I can trade if I want it. I don't think I want to. Feed resistance, is that the card I think? Feed resistance? I can look back in the log, but he's debating on whether or not he wants to use it here. He does not. Okay. Goes up to 19. Sure. Does it run back the same? This guy, I think. Just to keep him at bay a little bit. And I'll play a land. <sighs> Hopefully I can get seven more lands off the of Villainous Wealth that I draw. That'd be nice. So he just plays a forest. It passes. That's good for me. Play a land again. Let's go put, he has nothing again. Plays the land. Play the swamp. That's good for me. Back out to, to 10. Wow. Let's keep outlasting this guy right now. You know, the smite the monstrous. Is that in the set? Some type of kill, something with power 4 greater. Could have that. Be one of his cards. I gotta make sure I keep creatures of two different colors back so he pumps a guy, give him protection from something. I think he has smite with something. He's thinking about using it here. Okay. F6. Alright. Yeah, I'll just play this guy face down. So now we can't get protection from that because it's a face down creature. And I'll just pump this guy again. Why not? Attacking with my Mystic. Yeah, Mystic is a decent card for my controllish big butt deck. It should be nice if I can. Uh, well, there he goes. Doesn't quite add an extra turn to his life, but. Oh, yeah, this monster flock is a good one. <laughs> uh, should I attack with this guy? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? If he has that thing, it's three, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, not yet. Next turn. Next turn. I'm still going to hold a land in hand just in case he wants to use a discard thing to see if he can get me. Not too concerned about discard. He could have the 2-1, uh, but he has to attack with first. He might have to trade a guy if he wants to attack. Okay. There's nothing. Go ahead and attack with Mystic and this big guy. So he has to block, block everybody, yeah, I figured. He definitely has the um, feet. Put this guy in the end because he just has a power pump. Destroy target creature, okay. That's pretty decent. 
Murderous Cut is a good card. He's up one more thing. Which guy would you like to protect? Yep, Feet of Resistance, that guy. Okay. Back to the same thing. It's down five, though. Down five. We can get there. We can get there. Uh-oh. He's got his own outlast wall. A little salt patrol. A little salty little guy there. Uh, a fun little one. Got seven, right? Five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I can do this. Yeah. Probably bad because if I uh, unmorph this guy for his turn, you know, return this guy to my hand, but that's fine. Inconspicuous. Uh, no, I shouldn't have showed him that just in case. He wants to attack or something. Yeah, I got the non flyer, which is odd. Or first strike. First strike is good. Make it past my butts though. There's a planes. Going to attack. So I'm going to go to attacks first. And then morph, unmorph it. Oh, other. That's a close one. Make sure it wasn't myself. Okay. Got there. Okay. Obzon. Some dull stuff going on. Do for turn. Oh, disdainful stroke. Disdainful stroke against him. I think I might. Or singing bell strike or embodiment. I'll take an embodiment out. Get the lands. Put too many lands in. Should take a land out. Oh, too late now. I forgot I did that. Put too many lands in. That's why I was drawing all lands. Oh, I got there with a 5 5 fly, though. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I can pull this. This is a little tricky again. <laughs> why not? I'll do it. Be behind on the land, but. Gets up a card, I guess. Especially if you mulligans would be nice. Chose to play first. Will he mulligan though? He's deep in the tank about this one. I'll keep. Does he keep as well? Yes. Is he going to attack? Okay, I will take it. Um, yep, you want to pump, or you want to death touch it in response? Do not block. I'll attack though. He didn't play a three drop, so that's good. He just plays it a two if I want, but... All right, well, it's just a land, which is not good if I'm playing against Delve, but... All right, attacks. Uh, I'll play this guy, I think. Can't attack. So we're even. So attacking this 1-1 one -one isn't really the best. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to do a tricky thing. I'm going to show him this guy, I think. And I'll play this guy face down. Does have a murder's cut. Okay. Nothing else going on. Play this blossom sands. This guy cuts six anyway, but um, so we get him to play the merge cut on this guy, I think. Because he's all scared about this snatcher now. Forest and one unknown. Ooh, disdainful stroke. I like that. I'll play this guy face down and pass. I'll draw another land next turn would be nice. Okay, played another land. I haven't played this forest yet. That was fine. Didn't do too much. I can always throttle it. I'm just going to leave that guy up. <sighs> he still has force in hand. So we've been playing as non force lands. Plenty of good follow ups. I think I have this game. I haven't drawn a force yet, luckily. But that's fine. Don't need a forest. <laughs> Big butts do it again. Yeah. Versus Amazon having oh, zero six. Oh, zero five. Zero six. Ooh, that's even better. Even better. Okay. Whatever spell he plays, I can just take it. Which is nice. And it's a chess guy student. Uh, no, I don't care about that. He still has a forest in hand. I just kill something. If I want to. Got 18, forest in hand. I don't know what he's thinking about. Attacking with the, that guy. Uh, I should play that. I think I'll play this guy. It'll look like my shields are down, but I have a disdainful stroke here. Because anything that costs less than four isn't too scary. Play this forest finally. Morph this guy. Get a blocker. Another throttle. More land that I could start pumping that guy up, I think. Don't need to attack yet. Uh, one more land, I think. Or I can just start killing off his guys. He's afraid to cast anything because of this guy. He knows about it because I showed it to him with uh, his Dragon's Eye Savant. What's he got now? Three mana? Sure. Without an attack. So this is a 2 3. Okay, 
anything else? So he's building up for his uh, plus two, plus one card, I think. Uh, I could throttle the chief the edge right now if I want. This undying guy. I'm going to do this guy. Because I have two throttles, so I'll just take this guy out. This guy would be fine to kill as well. But this first strike is kind of annoying. Well, that helps me a little bit. I can do this now. Outlast. Pass the turn. Throw the outlast. Eventually, I can just kill this guy or something. Big butts. Big butts getting there. Three cards in hand. Afraid to play something. Afraid to attack. Wish I had my Mystic back. Another Ancestor. Um, yeah, it'll look like my shield down again, but I have both Throttle and Disdainful Stroke up. Now's a good chance for him to play his little plus two, plus one card if he wants. If he thinks he can get there with that. Okay, does not get there. Uh, three, four, five, six. No, one more land. So let's leave that guy up. He's going to look for a double spell, I think. Let's just start leaving both the sample stroke up and my other guy. A snatcher. Now that I have this guy pumped up, yeah. Well, he's got something. Oh, nope, did not want to play it, wherever it was. It's on 12 minutes, 2014, plays forest. You attacking? Not attack. Another land. So five, six. So I'm gonna pump one of these guys up, I think. I'm gonna leave up both sustainable stroke and my guy. Okay. And then if I can get this to one of these guys to four, I could attack in maybe. I gotta trade with this hate blade, I think. What's he got? Oh. That's a good one to take. Straight up takes it. I would have cast it face down. That could have been anything then. Oh, and you can see it's nice. See you guys in round three. All right, everybody, welcome back to round three. We are on the play. Let's see if we can get there. It's okay. I'm going to keep it. It's very sketchy, but I will keep. Not the best. All right, Beautiful Strix29 says, hi, good luck, have fun. Wow, another Marty deck. I think play this guy out for two. Uh, I don't think that'll do much. For me. Okay. I'll play this guy out now. And if he uh, wants to try to kill it or something, I can see what his hand is. Yeah, he could have the discard thing. What? Oh, I've got to flip it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, just traded, I guess. <laughs> I guess I can do that too. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. For some reason, I thought it was just automatically a zero 06. Yeah, okay. I 
I just play this guy then. <laughs> Alright. It's fine. Good trade though. My two drop or his two drop. I don't get any advantage on see what's in his hand, but oh well, it is what it is. He wants to attack in, I can easily block. But he could have a combat trick as well. <sighs> Flying vigilance guy is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I'm definitely blocking. Flipping that guy up to a uh, zero 05 easily. Obs on banner, okay. Another Highland game. Okay, more for this guy. Block. Pass the turn. <laughs> Play this pet then. <laughs> It blocks. Blocks quite well. Yeah, embodiment's not the best in my deck, I realize, because I'm slashing green. They're fine for a, a zero drop. I have two of those outlast guys, which are better. So I might just cut this guy completely, put something else in. I don't know if Disdainful Stroke is good against his deck. There's a lot of two drops, seems like. Two and threes. This guy is decent. Um... Not a reason to bring still well that's a reason. Wow. Alright. That's definitely pretty good. I can't even throttle that guy. Jeez. Um let's block here and block that guy. Five? If I draw a land, I guess I can just slam the five six down. <sighs> nice killing the pet. I like that. Yeah, just play a five six. It most likely has a kill spell. Most likely, if I had to guess, Implemental or uh, Murder's Cut. They always have Murder's Cuts. But, you got anything. Implemental Growth is really good. Uh, this was first appeared in Shadowmoor, I think. Or Morning, or um, Morning Tide, one of those two. Alright, all right, instant hit. He can attack if he wants. Double throttle. Okay, let's hold up throttles then. Could have the uh, plus one, plus two thing, or plus two, plus one. It's most likely going to happen. Another Highland game. Alright. Another Highland game. Alright. You got it. Any attacks? I just have to sit back here, unfortunately, and start attacking with his Highland games. If he wants another land, blue. Just realized that. Now draw a card, probably. Sure. Might just kill this uh, chieftain. Sure. Yeah, it's the hardest card to kill. That's a previous one against his board. So he's just looking for a removal spell for my Thousand Wind. Another. How many of those he's playing? Is that four? Is that five? Wow. Five of those guys. I'm just going to <laughs> slow this guy down a little bit. It's a little risky. Oh, I just, I'm an idiot. 
That guy's vigilance. Oh, man. I keep punting like this. He still has to pay six to untap it, but he's never going to tap again. That was dumb. That was dumb. All right. Well, I got five damage in the cost of him paying six mana. All right. Well, we all learn. We learn every day. Yeah, Bell Strike is not as good as the other tappers that are out there. Oh, that's not good either. Okay. Pass the turn. Yeah, a lot of Highland games. It's five Highland games? He's obsessed with those, aren't he? Doesn't he? Doesn't attack. Um, that's going to be good next turn if I can hold it up. Plays another land. Okay. This is fine for me so far. That's fine. Doesn't play anything. Nice. Last card. Forest, okay. Alright, nothing too special. Nothing too special here. Still sitting fine ish. It's got a lot of power, not really toughness on the board. Rule spell, counter spell that steals. I start getting in there with this guy. I'm going to take that. It could be anything. Maybe something good. Uh, another creature controls turn face of untap. That's a 5 5. Still fine. with this guy. Get some attacks in. Alright, no reason to play a land right now. Still need a forest before I get my villainous wealth. Okay, plays another land. Fine with that. Little five color deck. Uh, the old two removal spells take out one guy. But I get a little guy out of it. That's always good. Attack with him. I can take out a bunch of stuff. And I'll attack with this guy too. See if I can clean up his board a little bit. Block this, this, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't the best attack. Just chump blocks. So he does have one of those plus two, plus one cards in his deck, I think. Another bear, sure. Where's the villainous wealth? Yeah, I'm just going to attack with this guy now. Yeah, trading a, just a bear and a token for it isn't the best trade with this guy. Okay, another land. I like it. Now I just need a forest off the top, please. Forest, please. Forest? That's not a forest. Six, attack, go. Oh, I can keep... What am I doing? Oh, I'm an idiot. He doesn't have a flyer left. Why am I not attacking with this guy? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm dumb. I am dumb. I want to villain as well so badly. Yeah, I forgot I had a flyer. That's fine. <laughs> I am dumb. Excuse me for being dumb. See, you guys are probably screaming at me like, you have it on the board. Just do it. Okay. Uh, that's five mana though. We don't want that. 
Nice painful strokes. Don't really do too much for me. Naturalize wasn't good. I don't really want that guy. Uh, I don't think secret. Two four turn isn't really what I want either. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just. I didn't see too much. I wanted a stroke though. Yeah, I'll just run it back like it is. I have to remember to not punt a couple times. So that's uh, two punts in one game, but I still want it. The Singing Bell Strike on his Vigilance Flyer that you can just untap and do it when I got no profit of it. And uh, attacking for the win. Um, yeah, that's not the best either. But his deck is not very fast. Bunch of dirtly creatures. So if I can get this guy, I'll last him once. I need to start dirtling around with other things. Can I get his? Oh, sure. So I'm going to do this so I can start dirtling around after this. So he has a ton of two ones. He is playing a deck of two ones. He's using the two one step. This is the second person playing a, a wetland sandbar against me. Ooh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Alright. Luckily, I have a 1 5. What else he got? Okay. Still a block there. Well, I'm going to draw two cards. I need some land, please. This is not land. Okay. Well, I'm going to take two at least. And play this pet next turn, maybe. Yeah, that was bad. Not drawing any land. We still up a game, though, so even if we lose this from not drawing land, I'll just add another land in the sideboard. Remember that? Just adding lands. Wow. Well, yep. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next game. How about that incremental guy? Incremental. That guard is good. So I'll put stroke in and take out this embodiment. And... Uh, add a swamp. Add a swamp. Alright, let's see if we can get Villainous Wealth off one more time. It's the last game. Can we get Villainous Wealth off? Can we do it? We are 1-1, one one, both in matches and games. I'm going to keep this. It's decent. Got to watch out for those stupid incremental growths. The card is amazing against me. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just going to run this guy out there as a 2-1. He's gonna play his two one as well. He does not play a two one. Awesome. He has like six in his deck. How can he not play one? That is amazing that he did not play a two one. I got a couple two ones myself. What do you have to answer that? Oh, in aggressive decks, any bell strike is worth it. So I got my aggressive cards. I don't think he has too many land in his hand then. It's, okay. He's debating to discard. So that's good for me. He's got to not lose the stainful stroke. He's got a bear. I got a bear. He has a villainous wealth. So I'm going to... I'll strike this. Get in. Holding up a stainful stroke. He plays his flyer. Uh, the game hunters. Start the game hunting. That was weird. Uh, yeah, let's see if you'll trade. Doesn't trade. 
me see as an incremental thing. I don't want to trade off these guys. Four for four. All right. I'm gonna hold back now. I had the long game for villainous wealth. We kill this guy with throttle or stroke, whatever, if he's gonna play his forest or play land, incremental growth. I think he will do. Tax with one. Well, that's the. He has this stupid Mardu guy. The two three. Yep. Okay. Uh, it gives me one, two, three, four next turn. And I want to do at least five or six. So I can hold off a little bit, I think. I still got some gift. He does not attack. Wow. Okay. He's waiting for that to use his um, incremental card, I think. I can just. Okay. He wants maximum value, so I just want to trade his guys. He can attack with his chieftain. Incremental target, target, target. So he's figuring out which one's the target. So uh, one, two, and three, I think. The best. Yeah. Yes. Caught it. I'll trade now. Okay. Called it. Wealth for seven. What do we get? We get all land. What? Treasure cruise. Icy blast. <laughs> we can put counters on his guys. Wow. That was the worst villain. That was even worse one. Wow, that was uh, that was bad. Can I still cast those later? Icy blast. <laughs> Four lands, icy blast, and a second incremental growth. Wow. I didn't want to trade his or attack with his uh, horde chief. Well, that was those are two terrible villainous wealths I got. <laughs> Nothing. I, the first one I did was fine, I guess, but it was for ten, and I got three cards that helped me win that game. But wow, just wow. I got a third incremental growth. What? One, two, three incremental growths. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, we don't know why he has a ton of two ones in his deck. That was a good draw. <laughs> Back to your hand. Well, <sighs> that was the one draw we needed. Three incremental growths in his deck. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 1,000 wins. Jeez. I don't think I can play these anymore, can I?
I can still play these. I think no. Just a 6-5. <laughs> Why not? This is a really weird game. Okay, he saw it first. I see blast three incremental growth. Oh, Jesus. Jeez, jeez, jeez. What is this? An island walk? What? What? What is going on? Where was this stuff last game? What is going on? He didn't have these giant creatures. He just had a bunch of two ones. It was all a field of two ones. How did I lose to a field of two ones? The second round. A turtle and this tusking Colossodon somehow. Wow. And it was Island Walk too? Jeez. Yeah, he's played all his other cards now. Where's that guy? Ah, uh, I thought I had him. Should put in more uh, disdainful strokes. Perfect. GG's. Wow, that was a crazy match. Crazy, crazy match. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I got uh, 50 play points from winning that one round. Uh, where's the view previous deck? Uh, view previous deck. So uh, something I do close on my videos, if you guys are still watching, is I talk about the MVP and what was the the best cards uh, that I liked, uh, I think helped me. Uh, the most wins probably comes out in this Mystic Hidden Away. Uh, it's very good, unblockable in this format. It's helpful if you don't have much removal spells. And then these, uh, because I had two of them, Stone Ancestors seem to pull, pull some weight here. Everything else is just uh, good. Uh, throttles. Honestly, decent expensive removal, which had more of these injuries or early removal. I got these bell strikes, which did not do much. And this villainous wealth, I could build around it, uh, maybe more for standard cards, but it did nothing for me. Field of two ones, didn't get any of those two ones. I was very wow. Anyway, thanks for watching.